In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a custom Twitter feed like this onto your WordPress website. This is by using the Smash Balloon Twitter Feed Pro plugin. For this video, I'm going to demonstrate using the Pro version of the plugin, but we do have a free version with less features in the WordPress repository. To purchase and download Twitter Feed Pro, head over to smashballoon.com, and once purchased, you can find your download link and license key for the plugin inside your Smash Balloon account. Download Twitter Feed Pro and head over to your WordPress dashboard. Then, inside your dashboard, on the left-hand side, hover over Plugins and click on Add New. Next, click on Upload Plugin at the top, and upload the zip file for Twitter Feed Pro, like this, and click Install Now. Once installed, click the Activate Plugin. And there we go, Twitter Feed Pro has now been installed and activated. But before we can create our Twitter feed, let's go and activate the license key for the plugin. On the left hand side, you'll now notice Twitter Feed. Hover over it like this and click on Settings. And here beside License Key, you can go ahead and paste the license key from your Smash Balloon account, like this, and click Activate. And there we go, our license key has now been activated so we can begin creating our first Twitter feed. Once again, on the left hand side, click on Twitter feed and then go click on add new at the top. This brings us into the first step of creating our Twitter feed, selecting the feed type. With the plugin, you have three different feed types you can create. You can create a feed of tweets from any user timeline, a feed of tweets from any public hashtag, and a feed of tweets matching any specific search term as well. For this video, we're going to continue with the user timeline option that's already selected for us here, so we can go click on next. And for step number two, we have to add a source for our feed. And since we're creating a user timeline feed, that's a Twitter handle. So for this example, I want to display the tweets from Starbucks. So I can enter their handle like this and click on next. And for our last step, we'll have to select the template for the layout of our Twitter feed. We have many different layout options like the default, masonry cards, simple carousel, simple cards, and more below. For this tutorial, I'm going to go with the masonry cards template and click on next. And just like that, we have a beautiful preview of our new Starbucks Twitter feed inside the plugin. All the latest tweets from the Starbucks Twitter page are displayed inside this feed. We can now go and embed this inside our WordPress web page, but before we do that, let me show you how we can customize this. On the left-hand side under the Customize tab, click on Feed Layout. Inside, you'll find several options to modify the layout of your feed. At the top, you can see we have Layout with the masonry layout currently selected. This layout displays all your tweets in rows and columns like this. Above that, we have the List layout, which displays your tweets in a single column list. And lastly, we have the Carousel layout, which displays your tweets in a swipeable feed like this. For this video, we're going to continue with the masonry layout, and if you look below, you can also choose how many columns you want to display inside your feed. Currently, we have three columns selected, but if you want to modify this, all you have to do is open it up and select the number of columns you want to display. And you can see instantly that change has been made inside the live preview on the right hand side. I'm going to change that back to three, and if I scroll down even further, you can find options to modify the number of tweets you display as well. And if I scroll further, you can see that we can choose the number of tweets to display as well. Currently, it's displaying 9 tweets inside our feed, but again, if we want to modify that, all you have to do is enter the number of tweets you want to display. For example, if I type in 3, and instantly inside the live preview, you can now only see 3 tweets. I'm going to change that back to 9, and once you're happy with the layout of your Twitter feed, make sure to hit save on the top right corner. Next, if you want to modify the color palette of your Twitter feed, under the Customize tab, click on Color Scheme. You can see that currently it's set to Inherit from Theme, which means that Twitter Feed Pro will automatically match the design of your WordPress theme. Alternatively, you can go with a light theme, a dark theme, or even a custom theme that allows you to select the exact colors you want for your feed just like this. And once you've found a color scheme you're happy with, make sure to hit Save on the top right corner. And before we embed our Twitter feed, the last thing I want to show you is how we can moderate the content you display inside your feed. Under the Settings tab, go into Filters. Inside, you'll find different options to moderate the tweets you display inside the feed. At the top, you can choose if you want to include replies and retweets inside your feed. To enable this, all you have to do is toggle it on like this, and your feed will then include all replies as well. And to disable it, you can simply untoggle it like this as well. And below that, you can also enter keywords to hide or show tweets containing those words. And right at the bottom, you can also choose to hide specific tweets on your feed as well. With these options, you have complete control of the tweets you display inside your Twitter feed. And if you've added any filters, don't forget to hit save on the top right corner. Now that you know how to create and customize your Twitter feed, let me show you how we can embed it on your WordPress webpage. To do this, click on embed on the top right corner, copy your dedicated shortcode, then click on add to a page. Next, select the page you want to add your feed to, like this, and click add. And now on our page, we have two different options to embed our feed. The first option is by using a shortcode block and pasting the shortcode that we just copied like this. Alternatively, if you're using block editor, you can use our dedicated Twitter feed block like this. With this option, you'll instantly see a live preview of your new Twitter feed inside your web page. We can now click on update and check out what it looks like on the live website. And here we are on our live WordPress web page, and right in the middle we have our brand new and beautiful Twitter feed. All the latest posts from the Starbucks Twitter page are displayed inside this feed in the masonry layout. And right at the bottom, if you click on load more, it will load even more tweets inside your Twitter feed directly on your WordPress web page. And underneath each tweet, you can see the number of retweets, the number of likes, and a button to check out the tweet on Twitter itself. 
But if you're wondering if we can embed a Twitter feed inside the sidebar or footer of our website, we definitely can. Let me show you how. Back inside the plugin, I've just created a new Twitter feed in the widget layout for the sidebar of our Twitter feed. To embed this feed inside the sidebar, just click on embed once again, copy your dedicated shortcode, and instead of clicking on add to a page, click on add to a widget. This brings us into the WordPress widgets menu. And to embed our feed inside the sidebar, we have the same two options as before. We can use a shortcode block and paste the shortcode that we copied earlier like this. Alternatively, you can use our dedicated Twitter feed block once again. With this option, you can instantly see our Twitter feed inside the sidebar widget. We can now publish this and check out what it looks like on the live web page. And here we are on our live WordPress web page. And on the left hand side, we have that Twitter feed we created initially in the masonry layout. But now on the right hand side, inside the sidebar, you can see a brand new Twitter feed and widget template. And just like the first one, our second feed also has the latest tweets from Starbucks, but this time inside the sidebar itself. And if you scroll down to the bottom, you have the same load more button, which loads even more tweets directly inside the sidebar. So you now know how to embed a Twitter feed on your WordPress web page and inside your sidebar as a widget too. If you have any questions about what I covered in this video, please let me know in the comments down below. If you run into any technical issues, please contact our awesome support team. They'd be happy to help you out. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to learn about social media marketing tips to help you grow your business. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.